20, 20 inches, 20 inch trout. Shoo. Woo wee, there's a lot of boats out today, guys. It is Friday. The weather is beautiful. The wind is not supposed to get crazy at all. And I just knew there was gonna be a ton of boats out, but I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready, cause I mean, it is like a ton of boats for a Friday. I figured more people was working. But uh, hey, we're lucky to be able to go fishing. Just got off of work not too long ago, and I'm going fishing. Uh, I got some heavy equipment just in case, cause you know, fishing. And uh, other than that, we we'll try to get after some speckled trout. Going out to the islands. Uh, wish us luck, guys. Thanks for joining me. Dwayne Lulu here with Spots and Dots. And uh, hopefully, we'll see y'all out there when we're catching some fish. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and thumbs up, guys. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us on this trip once again. Uh, man, so much to say on this trip. Started off fishing the grass beds and the grass beds was producing fish but it wasn't producing big fish but i stuck it out for a little bit just to see what would happen and I, I never caught illegal fish while i was in the grass beds i will say this it's the same area that i was wade fishing not too long ago and while i was wade fishing them fish were not far off the shoreline at all and i was catching monster trout well there were no monster trout along the shorelines and there were trout on the grass beds but again they were just small so i moved my way to fishing deeper gullies on the other side of the island and from there caught a couple of short fish got into some lady fish got through the lady fish and then a big trout started hitting most of them were between 15 and 18 inches. I had a few 18 and a half, 19s, and even one 20 inch, but most were, uh, they were legal. And I ended up catching, almost catching 30 legal trout. But uh, to get the day started here, I was running, saw a log. So I turned around and came back by it, and sure enough, there was a triple tail on it. So it took me a couple minutes to get set up and ready. My chest camera wasn't working. I don't know why, but the other camera was working. So that was the only angle I got of it. Ended up casting out to this dude and hooked into him and brought him on in. He wasn't legal, but it was a triple tail and it was the first triple tail of the year that I've caught. We hooked into uh, one on our family day trip, but we ended up not landing it and it wasn't legal either. But nonetheless, we hooked into this little dude and got him in and showed him off and it was pretty cool. So the first bait I was using was a, mm, I think that first bait with the triple tail was actually from my last trip, uh, Drake Bait's Violator. Um, that fish tore it up, got rid of that. When I started fishing for trout, I was using seven baits, Willy Whacker, brown sugar. And I used that, caught all the small trout with that. And I ended up running out of those. And I moved to a Matrix Shad Magneto. Caught a bunch of fish with that, a bunch of fish with that, and my rod broke. The rod tip broke on my Shimano GLF medium fast action rod. So if y'all get one of them, just letting you know it broke for no reason. Shimano, shame on you. But uh, I picked up another rod. I had everything set up for something different. Picked up another rod. Had the. Uh, what did it have on it? had the uh, H2O Express Mojo Mullet, the little segmented body, and then a fish ended up tearing that up. It was a, uh, it was either a mackerel or a ladyfish, kind of tore it up. So I went ahead and retied uh, the Matrix Shad Magneto onto another rod and reel and started using that. So my rod and reels were the Shimano Corrado DCs and the other one was the lose. So that's what I used. I was using a straight retrieve. Uh, my last trip in this area, remember we slowed it down, was kind of jigging and popping the rod and that's how we caught the fish. I was using a straight retrieve and it didn't work, but this particular trip, straight retrieve worked very well. Uh, water was probably anywhere from five to eight foot deep and that's what I was doing. That's how I was catching them. 
and hang in there I promise you it gets really good start catching a lot of fish and a lot of legal fish and just for a reference I caught a lot more fish than I put on the video in other words there was a lot of fish that just didn't even make the video just to save time for making the video Guys, y'all want to see a little secret I've told y'all before. Some of y'all may have not seen before. When it's really hot out, your lures get mushy, more mushy. Whatever you catching your fish on, throw that dude in the ice chest. It will keep your baits cool, keep them hard, and they'll last longer on the hook. Granted, the water's hot, but it will definitely help more than it will to just throw them straight on there when they're hot and, you know, throw them in the cooler. Better. I don't think it's going to be legal. But... Ah. That's a trout. That's a trout. Maybe there's some trout in here now. I bet they won't be here long though if they are. Well, you can see where the bait keeps spraying and that could possibly be trout. Just, but like I said, they're just gonna be swimming right through here, man. Let me see if we can catch some. Finally, illegal trout, y'all. Look at the minnows. Oh, yeah, that dude got crab coming out of him. Shrimp. Somebody been feeding him some shrimp. I bet he's legal. 16 inches. Finally, yay! What is that? Some kind of a fish. Gonna let him go. That's a good trout. That's a good trout. Good trout finally. Look at them. One, two, three. Three. Two of them behind that one. Two of them behind this one. Right there. 
this trout. 16 and a half. Another trout. So I just had one and I only got it with the front camera. I see all them other fish coming up with it. I think those were ladyfish. I just had one come up a while ago. It was 16 inches. I only got it with the other camera. I think this camera was down. Here's another one. Let's see what it is. This one might be 15, I don't know. Barely, barely, barely 15. That is a nice trout fighting like a ladyfish. That dude fought just like a ladyfish. There was other fish with it. That is a 17 inch trout. Another nice trout. Oh, something again behind it. Oh, this thing's hot. God, dog, this thing's hot. Nineteen and a half inches. I had to switch rod and reels because this rod tip broke on my other rod right there. And I got every one of them set up with something different. So I wasn't sure if they were going to hit this or not because they've been hitting that other lure, but they're hitting it. This is that H2O Express Mojo Mullet right here. Another nice trout. Segmented body. Rep Representing a mullet there. This is it right there. Another nice trout. 18 inches. But my rod tip broke on that oak. On my Shimano GLF, just so y'all know.
Pretty trout, pretty trout. Come on. Pretty trout. Come here, baby. Let's get you in here. Beautiful trout. Seventeen and a half. Watch Tim grab it. Sixteen and a half. Oh, God, dog. Ah, uh, if this is a trout, guys, and it ain't jumping like a ladyfish, if this is a trout, this is gonna be a studly trout, but I don't know what it is yet. I see it, but I can't tell what it is. It's a trout. No, it's a Spanish. Okay, that's what happened. There was another fish swimming right beside it. it made it look bigger than what it is. And it's foul hooked. trout three different trout just hit it right there just watch just watch them that was pretty cool yeah 15 and a half A good trout. Drag's gotten a little loose on me, catching all these fishies. Got he got some line wrapped around him. That's a nice trout though. Get the net. Twenty. Twenty inches. Twenty inch trout. Shoo. That's a nice fish. I saw the side of it. Look at him swimming with him. Look at the other fish. Look, that's crazy. Get away from the trolling motor. Get away from the trolling motor. Another nice trout. Seventeen inch trout. 
17 and three quarter. Alright guys, so the last time I was out here catching fish in the same areas, if y'all remember, another nice trout, we were throwing, well the throw wasn't really important, the retrieve was important last time. This fish is, what was that, 16 inches? So the retrieve was... We throw it, let it sink, pop it, let it sink, pop it. But today, it is definitely a straight retrieve. So a big difference from when the last time I was here. Straight retrieve at a pretty, pretty fast straight, straight retrieve. If y'all been watching me reeling it in. This is a small one compared to what I've been catching for the last several, several trout. I hope that's not a pattern fixing to start. I was enjoying catching a nice trout. This one may not even be legal. It's not. I already know. Not sure if that one's a keeper either. Nope. Another one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Hooked also. Alright. Nice. This is about 17 to 18. Nice. Hook pretty good. Beautiful trout. Seventeen inches.
Oh, watch that fish grab it. Watch that fish grab it. Come flying up from underneath it and bow, hit it. Solid trout. I need to remember to leave this net up here, guys. Almost 18, 17 and three quarter. Oh, not a solid trap. Sixteen. fish oh Woo. 16 and a half
16 and a half. guys that's, that's that's been a long time since i've gotten tired of catching fish i gotta tell you i got tired of catching fish but that's a good thing that is a good good thing i mean and it was just a lot of nice fish not at first took them took a minute to put it together and then i was on them for a good while nice fish and they shut down they shut down in the Dang old lady fish took over. To be honest, I probably could have went through where I caught them and caught some more. But as I said, I just, just got tired of catching fish. Man, but what an awesome day. You couldn't ask for a better day for catching some trout. Uh, triple tail, first thing this morning. That was awesome. But hey, thanks for watching, guys. This is Dwayne Lulu with Spots and Dots. Till next time, we out.